through every year. For me, I'll try reading it through using a different version. And I'll do it using a Kindle, or for the last couple of years, a version downloaded on my phone. But Diana does it using a new Bible each year. And she abuses it. By the end of the year, the cover is usually off and pages are torn. She highlights and underlines extensively. She writes notes and comments besides scriptures. She can't read her Bible without having a pen or a highlighter to mark it with. I used to think it odd that she needed a new Bible each year, even though I don't think I've seen one that could survive a second year of what she puts it through. And now she's even teaching our three-year-old grandson, Drake, how she does it. Here's what I mean. What's the Bible say? Bible says... Louder so I can hear you. The Bible says... Jesus was born. It says what? The, the Bible said Jesus was born. Jesus was born. Okay, that's good. As I said, I used to think it odd, but I don't anymore. I heard a Bible professor talk on how his Bible professor and mentor used to approach his study of the Bible. He had a stack of new Bibles, and he read through the Bible frequently. Each time he started to read it through again, he would get a new Bible. And he explained the reason was because he marked in his Bible and when he started reading it again, he didn't want his old notes and markings to influence what he saw. He wanted to be able to see it with fresh eyes, not hindered by what he thought he already knew. He was committed to lifelong learning, and sometimes that demands that we let go of what we think we know so that God can show us a new thing. Because we'll never learn all that we want to about God. Consider Moses, who asked God to see more of his glory. That's after the burning bush and the signs, the plagues in Egypt and the exodus and the parting of the Red Sea and receiving the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai. He'd seen a lot of the glory of God, so much so that he wanted to see more. And there's an interesting verse in Luke chapter 2. It happens when Jesus was 12 and the family had gone to Jerusalem for the Passover. On the way home, they realized they'd lost Jesus. So they turned around and went back. And they found him in the temple with the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Remember, this is God in the flesh the infinite God who created all that is. And the scripture says this, And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. He applied himself to learning. Never question whether studying the word is important. My prayer for us is that we never get the attitude that we've arrived whether we've walked with the Lord for a month or for 50 years, I pray that we would always have the attitude that there is more to learn about him, more that he desires to show us and teach us, and that our hearts are open to correction and instruction. If Moses, after walking so closely with him, desired to see more of his glory, then there's certainly much more for us to learn of him. Love you guys.